Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Silas Q for those that are new. Here's a video on 7 things to do every morning to have a successful and productive day. Step 1. Wake up early and don't hit snooze. It's easier said than done, I understand. But truly not hitting snooze just puts you on a good start for the day. And as you can see, I don't jump right out of bed. And also another step is put something very soothing to wake you up. As long as it wakes you up, then the job is done. But don't have an annoying alarm clock that puts you in a bad mood. So make sure you have a soothing alarm to wake you up so you're already in a good mood. And as you can see here, I just lay there for a few minutes and then I would get up. I would stretch and I would get right to it. So step two is to make your bed like right away. Don't go pee first, don't go whatever else first. Make your bed so you have no excuse for having a messy bed. Making my bed is really important to me because I feel like if I have a clean space, I genuinely have a clean mind. And as weird as it sounds, knowing that everything is clean makes me feel better and I can concentrate on other things. It's not like I'm a neat freak, but I need to have a clean space in order for me to just do my task and have like an organized life. Ready to start our day? Yeah? Are you excited to start our day? Yeah? Let's go baby, let's go! So I just woke up and before I splash water on my face, the first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands. <sighs> And that's so important for me because I have acne prone skin, but I think it's important for anyone because your hands are just dirty, regardless if you washed them before you slept or whatever. If you're touching your face, always wash your hands. Now that my hands are clean, now I'm going to splash some water on my face. Okay, that was honestly a little too much. So every day for 10 minutes, I use my Neutrogena Light Therapy Mask. This is not sponsored. This is just my tip that I've been using for a while now. And I notice it really does help with, <clears throat> with like keeping my acne at bay. So this is how it looks like. And quick tip. You are going to love me for this. This is not the remote it comes with. This is like a little hack that was made. And it's sold on Amazon. I'll link it in my description. Same thing with the mask. It's honestly a lifesaver. But yeah, this is a hack. So basically the original remote, um, you can use it for 10 minutes a day and only 30 amount of use comes in the remote. That means after 30 uses, that shit is done. You need to go buy a new one. So that's really messed up of Neutrogena to do that to people every month basically. You need to buy a new remote. So I'm too cheap for that. So I found this on Amazon. By the way, it does not come with battery, but if you already have the remote that comes with Neutrogena, still order this and just put the battery in this because the same battery works. Does that make sense? But yeah, it's gonna save you a lot of money instead of buying it once a month because it runs out. This does not have a timer, but all you have to do is set a timer on your phone for 10 minutes, and that is that. You use it for 10 minutes a day and it does the same thing. So you're welcome. This is just how it looks. It has like red and blue lights inside and it just basically kills the bacteria off my face. And okay, since I'm wearing the mask for 10 minutes, I'll try to get some reading in while I do my mask. I try to read 10 pages a day. That's a little bit, but it's better than nothing. I recommend reading something motivating because this is the pep talk that you need. And this is just something that's going to put you in a positive mood to start your day and really make you feel good about yourself and just help put you in the right direction. That is why I rather read something motivated, uplifting, or beneficial to my own well-being rather than scrolling on Instagram or watching a show that I love. Watching a show can make you happy, but at the same time, I feel like you might fall down that tunnel of watching one episode, then two episodes, and before you know it, you waste so much time doing something that really isn't that beneficial to you, even if it makes you smile. So that is why I say read something, it's just 
the best thing for you in general and it'll be so positive for your day. I don't know if you guys know this little trick, but if you don't have a lemon squeezer, just roll the lemon on a countertop like so and it helps kind of make it easier to squeeze out all of the juice. I drink green tea because of its high antioxidant properties and also I throw my lemon in there for vitamin C and it also helps with my pH balance and ginger to top it off because it helps with my respiratory 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 problems and it also helps with inflammation. I'm not saying don't drink your coffee, but I am saying drink your coffee later on in the day after you have something beneficial. So while I'm having my tea or while I'm waiting for my tea to be made, I like to journal and just basically check what I have to do for the day or, you know, plan what I have to do for the day. Even if you know what you have to do, it's different when you need to look at it physically and constantly be reminded of the things you have to do, you're more likely to get it done because it's staring at you all the time. Also, I get this weird sick satisfaction from just checking things off after I complete it, so I really enjoy doing that. That is why I journal and not just like have a app on my phone. It's just really relaxing to check things off and sip on my tea. As you can see, I'm still not on my phone because I just want to relax and be mindful of everything around me. This allows me to mentally prepare for everything I need to do later that day and just really relax up until I need to get things done. This is Q's smoothie, that's mine, full of, you saw what I put in, spinach, kale, raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, I think that's a blackberry, yeah, and Q's have banana and orange. His is way yummier, I tasted his, it's so good. Mine look like poop because I can't fully commit to a full green smoothie yet, so mine is with green stuff and some sweet berries. Doing these little things have truly changed my morning routines for the better, so I hope it could do the same for you. Thank you so, so much for watching, and please subscribe for more videos from my channel, and I hope I see you guys in my next one. Shabye! Shabye!